Multiple cats rescued from Carter Lake are now ready to be adopted. I'm Melissa Wright, your North Omaha neighborhood reporter, where five cats in Omaha have recovered after being found in an abandoned trailer. In February, rescue crews found a total of 25 cats in unlivable conditions. Anything and everything you can imagine was there, um, from feces to urine to dead animals. And so all of those stenches kind of formed and created um, one of the most, actually not one of the most horrific smell I've ever smelled in my life. Isaiah Langworthy with Muddy Paws says the rescue lasted about three hours. Cats literally everywhere. And they didn't even have full access of the entire home. There were two rooms that were closed off that they couldn't access. Langworthy says one of the main challenges was moving fast, keeping warm, and capturing the cats with caution. So we were doing our best as well to keep these cats um, out of the frigid attempts, so we were trying to put them inside cars in these carriers and such, um, while also trying to keep them separated as we were going in there and marking, you know, the ones that were a little bit more fearful. This case of animal abuse is only one of many in Douglas County. Officials say informing an active community can help with the crisis. Speak to policymakers, state legislators, local policymakers about what more can we do to make sure that our laws and our penalties are commensurate with how terrible these crimes are. Of the 18 cats rescued alive, 13 of them were dispersed throughout the Metro, Council Bluffs, and Lincoln. Five are in Omaha. Ginger, Posh, Franklin, and Mai, all healthy and available for adoption. The fifth one, Xavier, now Jar Jar, was happily adopted into his forever home last week. Officials are still working to find the people responsible for the act. They're also asking the community if you see something to say something. At Carter Lake, I'm Melissa Wright, your North Omaha neighborhood reporter.